I got an idea. Let's pull off to the side. Let's do one of these SAS. I got some of these advanced SAS module parts. Let me see. This one's tuned to make heavy corrections. Let's go with start with the light one. All right. Now let's try it. Launch. Turn the SAS on. Throttle up. Launch. Um, I think we're doing okay here. I'm just moving the camera around. See all my control surfaces wobbling. That's the SAS takes control of those. Tries to keep it steady. Oh, this is better. This is definitely better. Let's see, look at those engines wobbling. There. We're still, we're very, very stable here. Okay, this is good. This is good. Maybe we got orbit this time. We're feeling good about the chance to orbit. First stage not even halfway through its fuel yet. So if we get up to about, say, 75, I'm gonna do a roll. I wanna start aiming this thing to the east. Uh, not quite. Um, oh, 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 oh. Come on! There we go. I'm into the south. No. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand. Can we point that nose up, 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 up? There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like I said, we're not going to worry about pointing it east. We're just going to take, except whatever, oops, whatever vector I can get it stable. <laughs> This is, this is, this is difficult. It's not working so well. One point up. There we go. Will this be more controllable? Come on. Okay, okay. Got something. Mm -mm. Okay, obviously I need some work. Just this stage by itself is not stable. Before I even worry about the larger stages underneath, I need to figure out how to get this stage stable. Try to slap an SAS on it. Maybe that'll be the next step. I'll try. Okay, here we go. Come on, guys. I just want something resembling controllability. Well, okay. Okay, let's put the camera in a chase mode. Yeah, it went pretty much straight up. And now it's trying to point the tail at the ground. Let's not do that. Um, I see you have, like, higher altitude, the thinner air. It doesn't react so well to the controls. Okay, come on. Come on. Mmm. 
Try and po point the nose down. Get some control here. Point the nose down. Point the nose down. Okay. Let's build up some airspeed. Okay. Yeah, this yellow mark on the on the nav ball. That's the actual direction that I'm traveling. So my nose is pointed in the direction of travel. Okay, this is controllable. This is not a disaster. This is not a disaster. Okay. Okay. Okay, we already lost a few Kerbals, but I think the guys, this time, they're gonna make it. At one point I was imagining that I was, um, that I would keep track of exactly how many launches and exactly how many Kerbonauts I go through, but I really, I think that's, that's, that'll be a fool's errand. That's... Let's just glide down here. I think it's just going to be too many. Kermanets don't mind. They're all, you know, they're clones. They don't even have a sense of individu individuality here. They're Bill and Jeb and Bob, and they're all just named Bill, Jeb, and Bob. They can't even tell. So, you know, if you lose, if you lose one Bill, hell, you got a, a planet full of several million more. Nobody even notices he's gone. Do some time compression here. There we go. I'm not going to worry too hard about getting this on the runway. I just want to get it on onto the the field here. Get it back to the Kerbal Space Center. Now I'm wondering, do I need to try to make a smaller, lighter airplane in order uh, to, because it's being so difficult to launch this thing? Ooh, boing. Come on. Oh! <laughs> it was so good right up to that point. up there. See what that does for us. Okay. A little bit wobbly, but acceptable. We're looking good so far. This time I'm going to try to learn my lesson, not do any drastic control moves until I get rid of that first stage entirely. I'm just going to keep going straight up and not even worry about any kind of rolls or anything. Still looking good. Everything's stable. Everything's stable. I like this. See the three Kerbonauts down the bottom. Bill on the left is the pessimist. Jeb in the middle uh, is the eternal optimist. And Bob is usually has more of a balanced view. Jeb is almost always happy. Bill is almost always scared. Bob uh, he tends to react more normally to things. He's, he's, he's a good baseline. Which is not good because Bob seems to be extremely upset at this moment. 
could be worrisome. Oh, this is looking much better so far. Much better. We're even approaching the limit of the atmosphere here. 20,000 atmosphere. I mean, I'm sorry, the... The, the lower atmosphere ends at 30,000. The upper atmosphere ends up at 70,000 meters. 70 kilometers. So we're, okay, now... Now I'm into the upper atmosphere. Let's go ahead and try a maneuver here. Want to get this pointing in the right direction? Oh, come on. It's got magic torque forces. And it's pointed this direction here. No hurry. Good. Okay, now we're approaching the upper limit of the upper, upper atmosphere here. Let's take a look at that map. Ap Apoapsis is high enough. I think I may be able to do an orbit if I throttle back right now. Yeah, this may orbit. There we are. Excellent. Oh, I'm happy. We're in space. Space! <laughs> in space and music turned very mellow. I like that. Okay, so let's take a look. Apoapsis up here, 178. So, in order to turn... I've just got this ballistic trajectory here. In order to turn this into an orbit, I want to thrust along the direction of travel when I get close to the apoapsis. I used to think that it was called an apogee, but then I learned that it, it's only an apogee if it's specifically if you're talking about an orbit around Earth. It's like an aphelion if you're talking about an orbit around the Sun. But if it's just a generic high point of an orbit around a generic object, apoapsis. So, I learned something. Now you did too. You're probably bored about that. Okay. Let's get this thing pointed. Come on. I need to get it pointed in line with my orbit. Come on. The real temptation is to over control. Just small, small control movements. There we go. Good. Lock it in place there. How we doing? 170. Oh man, I need to thrust now. Over here is the fuel. I've got like two-thirds tank. Using that SAS system like a control lock. Point point it in the right point, hit the SAS. Thrust more. A little bit more. Um I'm not certain that we're gonna be able to get an orbit out of this. Come on, thrust more. Go for a longer, slower burn here. Thrust less. I'm just kind of guessing. I don't really know exactly when's the best point to do a high thrust versus a low thrust. 
we're definitely opening up the tra that ballistic trajectory, the ballistic arc, but... I don't think we're going to make an orbit. Nope. No orbit. Alright, well, let's get rid of that. And by my self-imposed limitations, by the rules I decided on, I am... I've got this remaining engine here, and two fuel tanks. These are aviation parts. I am not going to use them until this thing drops below 30,000 feet. I'm sorry, 30,000 meters. I think that's the first time I accidentally said feet. I'm probably going to do it many, many, many more times. Doesn't that look pretty? And this is all, all the, all the graphics, all the sound, everything in this game is just a, a these are just the placeholders. It's all a work in progress. Let me see, here's, you can even see, still see the square down there. That's where I took off from that little spot there in this continent that looks like Africa. Yeah, it looks like Africa and Kerbal Space Center is right here, at, right at the very tip of that little, little blob of land there. Okay, well, it looks like, um, in the maximum, the, it looks like getting back to Kerbal Space Center is not going to be a possibility this time, so we'll be looking at uh, improvising a landing somewhere else. Interestingly enough, it looks like the projected orbital track here, parabolic track I should say, takes me down to some mountain ranges, so let's try to avoid those. Yeah, 110 kilometers. Let me zoom into this map here. Oops, hang on. Experimenting. I, I just, just did a straight level flight. I just took off and, and flew from Kerbal Space Center here, and I made it about this far. Just heading straight north. So, if I could deorbit into the range somewhere around in there, then I might be able to glide back home. Alright, let's do some time compression. Well, the rocket design's getting better. We got... This did a definite suborbital here. Okay, we're starting to approach Atmo again. So, let's try to get my nose pointed in the direction of travel. Try and get some air moving across these control surfaces. Oh, stop that. for when you start getting a little bit of bite into that air. Ooh. Still, it's just wobbling around. Okay, we're below 30,000 lits, but I do not want to light the engine yet. Can we get some control, please? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, this is very, very bad. Whoa, guys! Okay. Okay, no, stop. Okay, okay. Nobody panic yet! Nobody panic. This is this is this is controllable. This is this is recoverable. Oh, almost, almost. I want to I want to try to line this up with that yellow marker, not that one. The one with the crosshair. That's the means I'm pointing ass backwards. Oh, come on. All right, let's try to thrust our way out of this now. Oh, this is bad news. This is bad news. Can we get a climb going, please? Oh, 
It's like it's not even responding to the controls. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's a recovery. Excellent. All right. Whew! I don't know about anybody else. I was I was kind of worried there for a second. <laughs> I love this game, it's so much fun! <laughs> okay, okay. Now, let's look around for placed land. A uh, big open spot over there. More open spots over here. Another open spot over there. I think that my design here is it's only controllable once I get down below, say, say uh, two or three thousand meters. Above that, it just the, the airplane just flops around, just oscillates wildly, with no control. Maybe some longer, thinner wings might be be better for uh, getting us some more control, higher altitudes, huh? Field landing. Don't worry, curb knots, we're going to survive this one. I want my in-cockpit view, I want my track IR, there's all kinds of standard flight sim stuff that I want. Ooh, the ground came up and was kind of fast, kind of surprised me. Alright, alright, let's set her down, gentle, gentle, whoops, airborne again, gentle, gentle. Ease forward a little, whoops, ease forward a little bit, try and keep it straight. Oh. Look at, look at how this landing gear shakes. Okay. Uh, failed to get to orbit, but my Kerbonauts are still alive. So, I call that a win. Alright, let's, we'll, we'll try this some more. I'll talk to you again later.